I speaking test and I am examiner today. My name is Arpi. What is your full name? Hello sir, my name is Manpreet Kaur. Okay Manpreet, uh, uh, where are you from? I am from small but very beautiful town, Tuhana. Alright, so uh, why do you like living in this house? Um, first of all, I get to live with my family there, so nothing can beat that, I think. And uh, it's capacious, it's airy, I just love that place. Mm -hmm. Okay, spacious you are talking about. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so uh, are there shops in your neighborhood? Yeah, a few of them, like just uh, two steps out of my house and I get to, uh, there is Kiryana general store that I had, and, and if I have to assess the market, it's just a 10 minute walk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do, uh, uh, when was the last time you laughed? Oh, I would say an hour before. I was having a conversation with my mother. I love to spend time with her. She's very witty with her words and she's uh, like, she has a great sense of humor. So whenever I'm with her, I think like, I just have gala time, you know. Alright, so uh, do you like comedy movies as well? Yeah, you know, uh, with the times that we are going through, especially this pandemic zone when we are advised to stay indoors, I think uh, it's, it's must for everybody to watch those movies because it's helped to enlighten your mood, to feel relaxed, you know, because it's very heavy with all the negative uh, beauty that we are facing these days. Okay, do you like spending time by yourself? I, I just love spending time with myself because I think uh, it is, it's that part of the day when I get to, you know, recollect my thoughts, I get to, you know, explore myself and I think I, I just love that time. I, want, I love to do things all by myself. I can cook or I can read. I really love that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did you do the last time uh, when you were alone? It was uh, this morning uh, when my father and mother went for the jobs and my brother was attending his tuitions. So I get that one hour with the whole day. So I was reading and also I had, uh, I, was, I listened to music at full volume. Alright, uh, this is a uh, time uh, for your cue card. Cue card means question card. And your topic for cue card today is talk about a dream home you would like to live in. And what kind of home would it be? Why would you like to live in it? And who would you like to live with? So I'll give you one minute. Uh, this is your topic. You can note down if you want anything, important ideas. Okay. You can take a pen and paper. Your time starts now. Your time's up. Can I take it back? Yes. Start, please. Uh, my dream house. Uh, so I think uh, down the memory lane. Uh, if I, you know, dream of a house of, of mine, uh, I want my house to be near a beach. I love water. I love spending time uh, at the beach, uh, and I think. Uh, Having a house uh, near a beach is like dream coming true. I I want a house. I like compact places. I don't want a house that is too large. And I think it needs a lot of maintenance. I'm a person who likes small things, just like I am small. I would say, mm -hmm. and uh, I I like I I would like a three BHK. Uh, and uh, you know I love Bohemia themes. You know, and everything like vibrant and you know. Also, I like pastels also. I want to mix of different themes in my house. I love to have a balcony, you know. I think uh, it just feels amazing to sit 
uh, and have a cup of tea there. I can do my reading over there. I like to have a small garden also with a, uh, you know, uh, swing in it. You know, it reminds me of my childhood. Uh, and also, I really, really want to do my own interiors of the house. I really have this crazy ideas of how my house is going to look. I really want a, you know, wall with lots of pictures of my and my family because it helps me to stay connected, to remind me where I am, what I am and who these people are in my life, what they mean to me. I also, uh, you know, like to have a spacious kitchen uh, and with like modular fittings because uh, I'll be working of course, so I want things to do, get done faster with all the uh, technology. Uh, I love uh, spacious bathrooms also. I, I really, you know, we enjoy bathtubs and jaguars, you know. You can do your reading with a good bath, I believe. I really have these great ideas about my dream house. Okay, uh, I'll ask uh, some more questions. Are you ready? Yes, sir. So, uh, my first question is, what type of houses do people in your country prefer to live in? Uh, India is a country where 60% uh, of the population is dependent on agriculture, primary sector for their living. So most of the people in my country lives in villages and in villages, uh, this, this is a trend you can say it or th things have changed now. But earlier people used to live in mud houses. Uh, it's a clay house that uh, clay is, you know, painted all over the house to keep it dark, cool down in the summers. Uh, I really love that idea because you know it helps people to stay cool and everything. In the urban side people are more inclined towards flats and apartments because of the busy uh, roads and spaces over there. Uh, it, this kind of trend that goes in my in Okay, uh, what considerations do people have when choosing a place to live in? I think it's very important to consider different factors while we're choosing a place. And if I have to talk about my country, uh, like people in my country, there are n number of factors. People uh, like to choose places, you know, which has greenery because everybody wants fresh air. And safety is the utmost, uh, it is of utmost importance because everybody wants to be safe and with the ra raising, rising number of crimes and uh, today's time. And also other facility, facilities like uh, uh, how you know how far away the airport is or the market is or the school is according to their own needs if a person is working like in urban areas people like to st live in society because uh, you know maintenance and everything is in the hands of the uh, people managing that society so everybody have uh, different uh, requirements mm -hmm. okay uh, so uh, is living in a new house always better than living in an old house I think uh, it's it's quite a personal uh, thing to choose and every coin has two sides uh, kind of thing because uh, I myself have lived uh, for a good time period uh, with my joint family uh, in an old house it was uh, built with it was built by my grandfather but as we grow as I had many cousins uh, as we grow so we realize we need more space and a time come when uh, we realize we need to move move out and also with the you know coming generation or the, this Y generation I would say uh, they prefer things more simpler or like you know spacious and they want things modern and everything uh, just like people are crazy about getting hands on the new phones it's just same with the houses they want everything to be perfect so people are actually moving towards modernization going with new houses okay a uh, last question for today and that is do you think preserving historical buildings is important and why? Definitely, yes, I think it's, it's really, really very important because, uh, you know, uh, our culture, I think, is like our asset, you know, and especially uh, we have, we'll be having different generations coming. Uh, so it, it's very important to teach them what our, uh, you know, ancient uh, country looks looked like. And also, it's a great source of income for the government because uh, if we have to talk, give an example, I can talk about Taj Mahal. People from different countries come over there just to see that monument and uh, it, it helps the government to earn foreign currency which in turn helps the economy in many different ways so saving our uh, uh, Asian buildings and you know uh, I think it's really really important so this is the end of your speaking test thank you so much thank you sir.